Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm so glad you're here. I have a jewelry jar I'm going to open for you. I have two, and I'm trying to decide which one to do. They're both the same price. I thought I brought a drink over here, and I can't find it. They're both the same price. Hi, Perla, how are you? They were both $29, and I think I still got a discount on these. I haven't, I'm really... <clears throat> not looking forward to not for actually I haven't found any lately and it was discount day to day but I didn't find one today I went just to look for jewelry jars okay I did look for a handbag I looked for a handbag and I looked through the mugs but I didn't find any and I did leave a couple of mugs that were very very cool but we talked about my hoard last time and how I'm trying to hone in on on my hoarding tendency. Sorry about all the shaking, guys. I'm trying to get my my seat down. So, I did not buy anything. I can't believe it. And I only went to one thrift store today. I did want to share with you real quickly about the 18 karat gold that we found in the jar the other day. One of my subscribers told me to take another look at it. And I had seen that it said 18 karat, but I thought it said gold fill, but it just says gold. And it's, let me see if I can bring that light a little closer it does say 18 karat G okay it's upside down I think anyway it did test positive and I thought one of these I think I'm showing to you, right? <laughs> anyway, it is it is indeed 18 karat. But I was thinking that with this kind of a bar like that, it really thought I thought it was gonna say Korea on it. And then even the design just I mean, even though I actually have an 18 karat yellow gold with this dot and dash design that I have had for a long time, and there it is there. So yeah. Take a look at those marks, guys. Take a look at all the styles. And don't ignore that white gold. It's very promising. The white gold tone, or, or solid gold in this case. Because, um, yeah, that was a nice find. That was about two jars ago, two bags ago. Let me see who else is coming. We have Judy Prescott here. Thank you so much for being here got about 12 thumbs up be sure not forget to do that thumbs up when you walk in the door remember to do that we have sugar coated soul monique's jewels shiny jewels kelly over at hip flip and mom is in the chat and cynthia rushing juana perla was the first one here so looks like sanja's here as well and norma and jill and beth and guys i'm going to have a series i think i told you guys about it already we had the first show the other day and I'm not really set on a certain day or time because I'm trying to accommodate my guests. But it's basically a kind of a casual talk uh, series. It's going to be pretty much just conversations with content creators. I'm really excited about bringing you this because it's really not going to be about tips or bolos or any of that stuff that you get everywhere else. And, you know, you you get more than enough of that. I just want to kind of get to um, the in, the what makes you tick type of talk show. And my friend and co-host is Ke is Kelly there at Hip Flippin' Mama. She's my co-producer, or what did you call it? Executive producer. <laughs> and she's in there in the chat, helping me out with the chat when we have the talk show. And uh, so hopefully we will all be together again tomorrow at two o'clock central, where we're gonna have a very special guest and Kelly will be there to help me out and make me laugh and just, uh, provide you guys uh, some entertainment all right i hope to see you there let's start with which one the bigger one they're both 29 dollars, which is what i wanted you to see look at the difference they're both the same price i don't remember if they came from the same store but this one is twice as big as this one i think look at that or at least at least another i don't know another third of it is filled and this one is not. So I guess I'll do the bigger one then. 
All right. So if you're not if you're not subscribed to Hip Flip and Mama, be sure and do so. She'll be talking about the shows as well, so that you guys can tune in. And of course, Kelly has uh, morning talk shows and all kinds of other shows that she provides too. So, all right, let's dump out a little bit here and see what happens. Oh my goodness. It's all over here, guys. Let's see. Ooh, look at this pretty puffy heart. I wish it was sterling. I sold a big sterling one like this before that was etched beautifully. But I sold it to a subscriber. She wanted it for her mother, and I know they're very happy with it. Okay, got a little tingle here. This is kind of a gunmetal color. It's very cool, though, and I love that chain. I don't know what they call this chain. Would that would, would that be a box chain? Because it's kind of rectangle shape. It's a very nicely made puffy heart. I don't see any maker on it, but it's cool. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, let's see what else is in here. Pearl, faux pearl, necklace. All of these are plastic. They're very pretty though. I like the color. I like the combination of colors too. They're really cute. So that's pretty. Oh, we've got a beautiful bangle here. I was gonna say cloisonne, but it's not. It's just an enameled, really heavy metal on it though. It's made of a really heavy metal. Hey Anne, how are you? I like that one. Yeah, this is the bigger bag. It looks like there's a little peeling or something. I feel something going on there, but it's cute. It's a cute bangle. Oh, a big, big ring. Did it crack? Bummer. It did, it cracked right there. But I guess it could be fixed. It's like a big onyx or a faux onyx stone there. That's interesting. That's gonna go in my little ring lot. And we have an Ann Taylor tag attached to something here. I like this gold too, but it's bent. I don't know what that says. I think it says Lane Craft or something, but it's kind of bent. So that will likely be a crafter lot piece. Oh, this is cute. This is a pretty Anne Klein. I don't see any rhinestones missing on this. I think it's just like a two-sided charm. It's quite interesting because it's it's not symmetrical. Hmm. You guys see that? They just kind of dangle off each other and then this side has the rhinestones with a little silvery pearl. That's really cute. Very nice rhinestones too. This is very nicely made. This is an Anne Klein. And it still has the tag. It's got a nice logo tag as well. Little hang tag there. Don't see a price, but it's so cool. Hey Vanessa, how are you? I love that. That's a pretty one. That kind of stuff does really well on posh. For some reason, anything fashionable like that and with new tags, it goes pretty quickly uh, in jewelry on posh. These are cute, guys. Look at these, enamel and cloisonne, and I like them together. Brown, lots of pretty colors in the brown one. And then this is the prettiest aqua color. And this one has um, like a brass inside. It's a pretty combination. I like that. Thank you, Judy. Yeah, I went back to the light background. The other one was even the light one under here <laughs> was the silk was making it like it was playing havoc. I know. You ever see um, like the uh, broadcasters when I used to watch the, the news and everything on TV? 
If they wore stripes, oh my gosh, it would play havoc on the camera. These are so cute. They're Christmassy. They're little Christmas lights. And I don't know what this one is at the top. It almost looks like a dreidel or something. I don't know. Or maybe it belonged to something else that was Christmassy. I don't know. That's an interesting earring. Oh my gosh, I've never seen the dichroic glass in a peace sign. Have you guys ever run into that? <laughs> I thought I had seen it all. Hi, Tammy, how are you? That is too funny. Wow. It's got pretty colors too, oranges and greens, kind of earth tones. That's different. You have one in the piece sign? I've, I have several, mostly hearts and just some abstract swirls and everything. Ooh, this is cute, guys. This looks vintage or retro, one or the other. I think it's retro. I just don't recall seeing some of these glass. I don't know, though, because it's got a lot of hair stuck in it. Yuckster. Yucky. Oh my gosh, but it's so cute. Let me get that out of the way. It's got like a tassel. And I don't know if this is called dichroic glass or just glass, but it's that beautiful blue. It's got the caged beads. They made a nice tassel out of it. Oh, look, it's even got some lamp work, too. That's really a pretty necklace. Look at that. It's got some wear. It may be vintage. I don't know. Doesn't have any kind of a name on it, though. Yes, I love icy blue. It Even the color looks very 60s to me. That's pretty. And the cage beads, of course, too. Hi, Kelly. I mean, Key Lime Kisses, I'm sorry. And Carmel Gang is in here. Deborah. Deborah Earl. I like that necklace. That's pretty. Okay, what is this? Oh, my goodness. I thought, I thought this was a hair accessory. But it's not. It's part of this necklace which I'm trying to figure out how to put on. Okay, this way. This is a New York. That's cute, though. Someone could wear this really well. Black and white. Black and gun metal. Really cute. Hi, Teresa. I'm so glad you're here. This is um, about seven strands, including pearls, silver beads, and a few chains. Oh, I like that chain within a chain there. And then it's got this that sits on the side. A little, what do you call this fabric? Kind of a chiffon, organza. Bow, cute. Got some more pearls here, faux pearls. Tool, yeah, a tool. This is so cute, guys. Look at this. It's a snow... F oh, it's stuck on there. <laughs> I thought it was part of the necklace. This is an earring that's stuck on there. <laughs> I thought it was a cute addition to the necklace. All right. It's a pearl necklace. Kind of a burgundy color. Wine color. Very pretty. And here's the earring that was stuck to it. A little sunflower. A ba an A battery on the light earring. I'm not sure. Oh, I'm not sure about the earring yet. Let me get through the, this pile. Look at these cute bangles, guys. The Mother of Pearl. I like the purple one, too. And these are the ones that have brass inside, so they're nicely made. It'll look good with that other batch here. All of these are pretty cool. More enamel. I love the purple. These are pretty. I love the pink. 
This is a nicely made one too. This is Kate Spade. I knew it was. I had a feeling it was Kate Spade. It just felt really substantial and nice. So that's a nice one. It's got Kate's signature in there with the ace. This is a later piece of hers. Her earlier pieces did not have the um, the spade. It just said Kate Spade. She added that later. I love it though. That's really pretty. It's, it feels really nice. Thank you so much, Belmar. I'm glad you're here. Looks like 60 people are here, guys. Go over and hit that thumbs up if you haven't. Subscribed, I hope you take the time to do so today. This is a, some of the fun we have here is opening these jewelry jars and seeing what we find. Treasure hunting for either our pleasure in enjoying this jewelry or reselling it for a profit. These are highly worn out. I like what's tied around it. I don't know what that is. But these have a lot of wear. Somebody must have really loved these. They have um, some religious symbolism on there. And it looks like a Bible verse. Psalms is on here too. That's actually a copper base, so that would not be bad if we could rub all that off. And I have used Simichrome to clean off the bracelets that are copper based be still and know that i am god i love this yeah i'm going to try some simicron clean these up turn them back to their glorious copper color i love that and i love the the bible verses there here is kind of a matte gold tone finish here with some black stones another cute bangle thank you tammy Oh, this is pretty, guys. This almost looks like check glass because I sold a check glass. I think I sold it to Kelly in one of my auctions. It kind of reminds me of that, but I'm going to read what's on the tag on this one. It's so cute. Let's see what it says. It says Rachel. Rachel. I think Rachel Roy puts her full name, Rachel Roy. So I'm not sure who Rachel is, but that is a pretty, pretty necklace. Look, it's got... They look like real stones, I would have to say. They look like some kind of genuine semi-precious stones. Very pretty. Look at that pretty AB stone there. And I love this one. This one's carved. These are cute. I thought this kind of looked like pseudolite, but I'm not sure now. But they are all either glass or some kind of Genuine stones. I love the color combination. Boho indeed, yes. All right, here's another bangle. This one has copper base too. Really pretty pumpkin color. I like the width of that one too. It's quite a difference between, I love orange and pink together. It's very India. Love it. Okay, here's a snake mesh looking thing let me see what that is it's, okay it's just the chain someone knotted it it's very pretty it's in a gunmetal color i guess you could open it up but i really like the way the knot looks too i love the mesh chains cool and what is this This is a little twisted in here. These coils, they make these hair accessories with these tw with these coils and they stay in your hair so you know they're gonna stay in this necklace. This is part of the necklace, some kind of spacer there. I'm not sure, I think this is two necklaces in here. For sure. Three, oh my gosh, what in the, I'm not even gonna show you that wad of DNA that came on this necklace. This is ridiculous. And it's a sterling necklace. Wow, I'll just show you the, the sterling one. <laughs> so crazy. Yeah, this is sterling. It's just a little snake chain. Um, it is covered in hair. You would not even believe it looks like somebody was making a wig out of it. 
Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I'm gonna have to get it cleaned up though because that is a sterling chain, probably a 16 inch. Here's a little gold tone with black going through it as well. It's pretty. Thank you so much, Angel. I'm so glad you're here. Here's a pink one, kind of a costume or a folkloric design as well. Rhinestones on it. Pretty. It's a pretty bangle. All right, we're still untangling this one, aren't we? Let's see what's in here. Cannot believe that other chain. That was crazy. That was insane. Okay, it was two necklaces. This one does look kind of vintage. I'm not sure though. It's got those little twisty stations. Gold tone as well. And then this one has kind of like gold coins. They're not coins though, they just kind of look like little discs and then they have black onyx looking stuff faux onyx all around that's really pretty though that's a nice piece long one too that's really nice i like that that is a nice piece we have a cord with a kind of a freestyle heart there choker gold tone or costume jewelry. Here's something. Every time there's something green, I pull it out. I love the green jewelry. This is pretty. This actually looks like Jade. Or um, what's that other one? Adventuring. Probably Adventuring. It's got a lot of matrix. This is cute. Really cute. I love the length Look at that hook on there. <laughs> Very simple. And look, it's got bells here. Looks like one of these may have fallen. Actually, they're not bells. There are two that are missing. So they're, they just have their caps. It's so cute, though. Isn't that a pretty one? Nice and cold. It's got to be adventuring. Can't think of any. I mean, it could be Jade. You tell me, but. To me, it's looking more like adventure. It's got a lot of brown in it. And it's got a lot of opaqueness to it. I love this. Isn't it pretty, Vanessa? I like the links. I like the retroness of it. It could be vintage. That's what I'm thinking. And I love the way they feel. They do have a nice oriental look to them, too. Well, that's a nice piece. I like that a lot. That's really cool. Here's some more of these exotic looking bangles. These. And then the blue ones look kind of almost like for a child. Yes, I know that blue braid. So pretty, Vanessa. Okay, these are interesting, guys. I think they're bangles, and I think there's some kind of ceremonial jewelry. Look at the way it's got dangles all around it. This will probably go in a crafter lot, as will these. They're just really pretty. I think they, they're nice to use in crafts. Doesn't even look like this one's missing. Any stones? It looks like it had a hook here, like something else was dangling from it. So those will be a nice addition to a crafter lot. And, oh, this is a pretty bracelet. Wow, I love these giant jumps. Look at that lobster claw. That would look probably look better as a purse charm. Hang something on it or some, or a key ring because that thing is huge. How do you even... Yeah, this was probably a purse charm, and this one has a lobster claw too. <laughs> so, wow. That's so pretty, though. They should have kept it as a bracelet or whatever it was. It was probably a bracelet because it's nice looking. Grays and... Black and white. Hmm. Okay. Let's see what's tangled up in here. More bangles. Again, they're kind of the exotic Asian looking ones. I'll likely put all of these in a crafter lot. 
bangle lot. Tons of them, too. Some of them are so pretty, too. Look at the designs on them. They're very intricate, but they are silver tone. And they're showing a little bit of wear, so that's why I'm putting them in a crafter lot. Lots of these blue ones, too. These are so pretty together, though. I think they have, they're glass, guys. These are actually glass. Sometimes I get these and they're broken. <laughs> have you guys gotten the glass bangles? What a pretty look, though. Look at it. It's very nice. I like it. Together, that is cool. It has like a mirror-like effect in these are glass. I even like the sound. I may just keep those. I may keep the, the turquoise color. Then maybe I'll add this one. Hi, Jennifer. Add the little enamel somewhere in the middle or at the end. Or... You like the glass bangles? Have you gotten a lot of them? I get a lot of them, but they sometimes they're broken. And I've never gotten any this color. This color is amazing. Love it. I'm going to save them. Save them for, for one where at least, <laughs> I don't know where or when, but they're so cute. This one says back to basics. I don't know, some kind of a cause there. Put that away on the other side here. We've got this blue one. I think I showed you that in the beginning. I don't even remember. Oh my goodness. This is like a bolo tie that's really cool. Someone's going to love it. It's got an Asian symbol there or some kind of wording. And then look at that bamboo at the ends. That is cool. And people wear the bolo ties, guys. Be sure and list them because girls are wearing them just as necklaces. They don't even bother putting a shirt, a little collared shirt or anything with them. They're just using them, especially something as exotic and pretty as this one or with some funky little cowboy motif, you know, with some horses or something. This is too cute. I bet you my daughter falls in love with this. She loves all the Asian stuff. That is really cool. I don't know what it's made out of. Some kind of resin or something. It's pretty. I really like the cord. Cute. Very cute. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thanks for hitting that thumbs up. Be sure and subscribe before you go. If you have to go somewhere, don't forget to subscribe. And hit that little bell. It'll notify you when I do a live video, which I'm going to be doing a lot of spontaneous videos this summer because I started a summer series, kind of a chat show, with uh, me and my friend Kelly there in the chat. So subscribe to her channel as well. We're going to invite a whole bunch of our favorite YouTube personalities and content creators to tell us a little bit about themselves. So we are trying to hone in on their times that are good and my times. And so I don't really have a set time, but it will likely be in the afternoon hours. So if you hit the bell, you'll be sure to be notified. All right, guys, I believe this little necklace that I showed you in the beginning is sterling. It is blackened. It is really tarnished, but I have spotted a mark on the heart. It's cute. I'm going to polish it up though, so I can read it at least. I love the link on it too. It's very nice. It is, it's a toggle. It's a very thin little toggle. Maybe it'll stay on me. That is really cool. So, so far, a couple of sterling pieces, including a, a chain. Yeah. That is sterling and it's marked. I love it. Whoa, that magnet is so funny. It's a nice thick heart too. Look at that. That is cute. It looks vintage. All right, here's the illusion necklace that showed up as well. This is in nice condition. Very nice condition. And let me see what it says. Liz? No, Chico's. This is a Chico's. Well, that'll make a nice addition to a jewelry lot. That's pretty. I like it. Usually the illusion necklaces have these really delicate beads, right? This is kind of a bold statement here. I like it. All this geometrics going on. That's cute. So I'm going to put that in a jewelry lot. I did spot a brooch, and it's my favorite kind. 
Christmas. Very heavy. Very heavy one. It's got a rivet and a sign. Let's see what it says. Not a sign, a signature. Let's see what it says. It looks like it says Jerry. I think it says Jerry, guys. I still haven't found my loop. I know I should already have ordered one. You tell me there. Is it Jerry? Or Eisner? I can't tell. I really can't tell. We'll find out. We'll take a closer look. Can you see it with the mag magnifying glass? <laughs> Probably not, but it's pretty. I love it. I really do. It's, it's even got snow. It's got like snow on the holly. Yeah, it's Jerry with a G. G-E-R-R-Y. It's a good brand. Cute brooch. I like it. Nothing missing. No rhinestones. It's enameled. It's all enameled, and then the little berries are kind of enameled as well, basically. That's nice. I love the Christmas brooches. Okay, here is a necklace that's busted, broken. Nice beads, though, so that'll go in a crafter lot so people can save it, upcycle it. It's a pendant. That's pretty. It's kind of a gunmetal. That'll look pretty on that mesh necklace, actually. Same color. So that's cool. And then here is a vintage butterfly. This is so 70s, too. Look at that. It's black with gold enamel. Butterfly in flight there. It's just hinged right there. So cute. It does seem to have a mark. Let's see what it says. Gold tone is in nice condition, too. Okay, I don't see that it says anything. It's just a little jump ring. Yeah, it's just a little jump ring. That's pretty though. Reminds me of a vintage Monet that I have, but it has the Ankh symbol on it. It was my sister's. It's white and my daughter stole it. She loves it. That is really cute. Okay. Oh, this is cute. This is by, <clears throat> excuse me, Chico's? No, Claire's. This is by Claire's. It's very pretty, very delicate. Look at that. These are little tiny black bugle beads. That is really cute. Hey, Jennifer. Thanks for hitting that thumbs up, guys. I really appreciate it. All right, what is this? This is broken. Oh, what a shame. It's so pretty. I love the coral color. I think now it's actually cracked there, so this will have to be refashioned in some way from a, to a, in a crafter lot. You think it looks like Game of Thrones? Yeah. I need to watch Game of Thrones closer. I don't watch it at all, but I, I maybe I can just uh, go on Pinterest and look at the jewelry. <laughs> Another stack of bangles. These are actually very nice. I like the gold hammered ones. It looks like two of the hammered ones. They're, these are very pretty, and they're still in good condition. So that'll be a nice addition to a jewelry lot. And then another mother of pearl one here with the brass inside. We had a little starter on those two, these here. So I'll put all of these in a jewelry lot. These will be pretty to put together. Especially the hammered pieces, they're so pretty. Here's three of them. That'll be nice. And this one looks good too. Yeah, all of these look really nice. I like them. Hi, Vicki. They're cute. Very, very cute. I like when the bangles are nice. Bangles are pretty. Don't know what the deal is with this ropey thing, but we will look at it closer. And 
Yeah, what a pretty piece, guys. I'm going to wash it. Oh, is there a piece missing? Maybe it's in one of the jars. It, it, what a pretty bunch of beads. The color is amazing, that seafoam green. These would make fabulous earrings, too. I think I want to put these in a crafter lot. Someone could make about 20 pairs of earrings right here. Well, maybe 10. Look at that, and then a pendant to match. These would be great for earrings because they're lightweight. They are damaged. One is missing. Uh, that way I don't have to wash all this nylon stuff. This cording, it actually had a cord to tie around the neck. Would have been a beautiful necklace. It really would have, but it's missing one. So someone will have fun making earrings and bracelets or something. Pretty beads. Very pretty. Oh, here's a nice one. What is this? A chain. Another crafter piece, y'all. Because <laughs> it doesn't even have a hook, but it's so pretty. It is so pretty. That would make a fabulous bracelet. Look at that. I love the gold chains for bracelets. That would make, and maybe even put a charm on one or something. Very nice links. Textured. Diamond cut, actually. And the uh, metal is not heavy, heavy, but it's not that tinny, lightweight stuff either. It's a very nice piece to put in a crafter lot. Here is a pink multi-strand. I hope it's not busted. These can get so messy when they bust. Okay, no. What a cute bubblegum color. This is the color of nail polish I need to put on next. Time to change nail color. I think I'm going to change to this soft, beautiful pink. Look how cute. These get ironed out, guys. All you have to do is hang them up for a couple of weeks, and they get right back to their shape. They are not a problem. So don't think that they're ruined when you pull them out of jars and all of that because they're not. You just have to hang them up, and then by their own weight, they iron themselves out. The extender came off of there. But that's a pretty one. I love it. I like the way these beads are concentrated in one area. Pink is just so flattering on a lot of people. I really like it. Is this an Alex and Annie? I believe it is. It looks like two. It looks like one charm may be missing there. Some of these I know are sterling, they say, but I, where do they say? Will they say it on the charm? Because this one says a lot of different things. Hi, Lucia. Thank you so much for being here. Alex and Annie, US D498167. It's got the flag. It's got the little recycle symbol. It's got some wear. But regardless, they're really nice. People really like to collect these. But I guess if they were sterling, I love the little flag with the heart. They would say so on each charm, it, I would think, at least on each charm. And then this is just a bangle, silver tone. So we do get one Alex and Annie, and the rest are little bangles. Quite a few bangles in here. Oh, these are pretty Marcus Sight looking. Earrings, they're just silver tone, but they're very pretty. Hi, Paulette. Hi, Michelle. Thank you guys for being here. 1996. Vivian is here, too. Guys, before you leave, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, I hope you do it today. Gail, I'm glad you're here. These are cool. These are not real marcasite at all. They're not even a stone in there. They're just beadwork or metalwork, but they're so cute. Marcusite can be so delicate. I'm almost afraid to use it when I do find it because sometimes those stones pop out quick. Here's another earring. This one has like a little CZ or a crystal in there. Cute one. Don't see a match yet. Oh, this is cute. See, now this kind of reminds me of something medieval or something too. But wow, this is cool. It's so strange that this is like festooned, right? But it's so big that you, how would you even see that it's festooned or scalloped rather like that? Because it's super wide. 
It's like a 24 inch chain, I guess, because it has to drape a certain way. Look at that. See, when you drape it, you can't really see the scallops, but it's really cool. It's like a gold tone, antiqued gold tone. I like it though, it's cool. I don't see a maker mark on it, but this is pretty. That's a very pretty piece, very different. And the beads are, I believe, plastic. No, those are glass. Yeah, they're all glass. Pretty. Very nice. Thanks for taking care of my troll fans. Oh my goodness, this is an old rosary. Probably from her first communion. And then here's an interesting one. This one looks very, almost indigenous, really. I like it. I like the way they played with all of those textures and colors. Really cool. these really textured chunky necklaces some of these need a bath I can feel the stickiness but they're so pretty look at this one this one's actually got verdigris it's got verdigris inside of the links there hi granny Jesse how are you I think I'm gonna have to get this in quarantine pretty quick Pretty quick. All right. We got an earring. No, this is just some kind of a piece. Maybe it was a part of a necklace. And here's a pretty cross. Missing some stones as well. This was pretty. This is wood, guys. Wood and dyed shell. And I love the yellow. That is really cute. There's something tangled up in there. That's pretty. I like the colors. These are wood and then these are dyed shell. Really pretty color combination there. I like that a lot. A little broken chain tangled up in there. Nothing to look at there. Some beads that were strung, I guess to use later or something. And what was this? Half of a heart, I think it, oh, it's a troll heart. Oh my gosh, it's from the movie, The Trolls. That's so cute. Best friend trolls, it says. <laughs> a best friend heart with a little, half of the troll has, half of the heart has a troll. Put that in a crafter lot. Some more of these bangles, silver tone. And... I think that's it, guys. Not a bad bag at all. I got some sterling. That looks like a nice vintage piece, too. I'm going to clean that up. I love this oriental one we got. Or something. Maybe it's just vintage, but it's gorgeous. I love that. I love the little bangles. We even got a Kate Spade bangle here. The pink one was a Kate Spade. Very nice condition. So, Oh, and of course, my Christmas brooch is always appreciated and that was it that was about 20 let me see that was about a 21 dollars bag because i do get a discount and they were selling it for 29 so come back again guys tomorrow as i said i'm gonna have that little chat in the afternoon around two o'clock central kelly will be there with me to help me co-host she's been very gracious and kind to do that for me because i have never really hosted um, hangouts where I'm actually the host and it's not the same as when you just join someone else's hangout and um, so I'm looking forward to being with her spending time with her and with our special guests I hope to see you there again that's at two o'clock central